Maggie's blessings. The winds were steadily blowing in the tall pines behind Maggie's little white house that was nestled on the edge of the woods. Maggie closed the door and thought to herself, a storm was blowing in for she could sure enough feel it deep down in her bones. It was now going almost ten years since her dear sweet Henry had passed. It was nights like tonight that Maggie dreaded the most. She did good for most nights, but tonight for some reason or another, the memories of her beloved just would not leave her be. She knew that when it got like this, the best thing she could do was to stay busy. And staying busy was just what she planned to do on this cold, chilly night. She turned and walked over to the stove, opened the door, and gently placed two loaves of bread that were ready to be baked into the hot oven. She looked at the picture of Henry that was hanging on the kitchen wall and said, Well, Henry, the kitchen will soon be filled with the wonderful smells of homemade bread. Maggie wiped a tear off her cheek as she remembered how Henry loved her homemade bread and the smell of it as it filled the little kitchen. She remembered how it was when Henry was around when she was baking bread. She could barely get it out of the oven and onto the rack to cool before he would be in the house trying to entice her to give him a slice or two. A half smile crossed her lips as another tear rolled down her cheek. She turned picked up her coffee cup and placed it in the sink before returning to the table where her Bible was open to Psalm 123. This chapter had helped her so many times over the past 10 years and especially during the time of Henry's illness. She sat down and read again Psalm 123 verse 1, Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. She looked up as if looking into heaven and spoke, Lord, my eyes are upon you because only you are my comforter and my dearest friend. I loved Henry, I still do, but my dear loving husband could not do for me what you have done for me. I know if it had come down to it, Henry would have given his life for me because he loved me so. But it was your precious blood that was shed on Calvary. That was the only way that my sins could be forgiven me. And because of that, one sweet day, I will see you, dear Lord, face to face. A sudden knock at the back door startled Maggie from her prayers. She walked over to the door and was pleasantly surprised to see Tom Harrison standing at her door. Hello, Tom. Would you like to come in? She said as she stepped back for Tom to enter. Hi, Miss Maggie. It sure is good to see you again, he said as he walked into the small warm kitchen. Wow, that bread sure does smell good. I haven't had your homemade bread in coon ages. Well, stick around, and I may just give you a slice or two when it comes out the oven in a bit. Maggie told him. I would love that, Miss Maggie, but I'm leading devotions at Men's Fellowship meeting tonight at church. I just wanted to bring this by to you. Maggie looked down at what Tom was holding in his hands. It was Henry's old work coat. Maggie had turned the house upside down looking for it after Henry had passed away. She even looked in his old work truck in the old barn where Henry stored so much, but she had no luck finding it. Tom's voice brought Maggie's mind back to what he was saying. I'm sorry, Miss Maggie. I didn't get this to you sooner. Mr. Henry must have left it in my shop when he was helping me work on my old tractor. That was right before he had gotten sick. I took it into the house to bring it over here later, but somehow it just got misplaced. Melly was doing some cleaning last week and ran across it. She said that you would probably want it back. Oh yes, Tom. Thank you so much. Maggie said through the knot in her throat. She placed her small, aged hand on his arm and looked at him with tear-filled eyes. And in a low whisper, she said, It came in just the right time. Tom looked at her with a smile on his face and said, God's timing is always just right. Yes, it is, Maggie said as she agreed. Tom gave Miss Maggie a quick hug, turned, and walked out the door. Yes, God's timing is always just right, Maggie said as she put Henry's coat over the back of the chair that he always sat. It felt so good to have it back where it belonged in some strange way. It felt like Henry was now sitting at the kitchen table with her. The end of part one.